so yeah that's that's me this morning um yeah the footage is absolutely diabolical i'm gonna put it in anyway because i've kind of like almost promised it so as i said the timestamp will be below where we go straight into the hall if you want to go and do that and to be honest i don't blame you i've tried to, to sort of clip it as much as possible so you don't see as much of me walking around and me just making everyone feel dizzy because i think that was a an issue over the last few years where people just didn't like the sped up and the music and everything else so yeah it's purely just clips of me buying things uh I stopped using the GoPro. I ended up putting my phone in my pocket, hence why it's gone more portrait rather than landscape. So, yeah. But then again, I weren't going to record today anyway, so this is just a bonus for you guys. But, yeah, if you want to go and jump straight ahead, I completely understand. Uh, but, yeah, it wasn't as good as I'd hoped, uh, as in the footage is terrible, so my apologies in advance. Uh, yeah, see you guys in the past. All right, that's me done for the day. Um, I've got some footage, of what it's like, absolutely no idea. Um, but it's now about half nine, done roughly 10,000 steps. My bags are very, very heavy. So yeah, I've got loads and loads of editing to do, which is gonna be fun. And I need to try and race home because I'm running late. So uh, yeah, the timestamp for the haul will be in the description. See you guys in the office. Oh, I want to see that now. Box looks very similar to something else. I had a Simba one that came with a plush. How much is the mug? Well, it's just too damn cute to say no, really, isn't it? Two quid. Lovely. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll stick it in the Primark bag somewhere. For the side itself, this thing, for this, and this, and this goes with this. 20. This is easy, Rob. This is a mutant, mate. Car, car, my car. Yes. Yeah, nothing major. Uh, magic bits for a friend of a friend. Uh, some old Pokemon cards, and then yeah, some sealed board games. Uh, base set Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. Selling it or keeping it for now. There's, there's only like one that's in decent enough condition. This one. Yeah, go on in. One pound. Lovely. Thank you. Uh, Will you do three quid for him? Which one? The big one. No. Sorry, darling. Yeah. Yeah. That one I don't want him that much. Mm -hmm. That's right. You're not bad, you? Yeah, got got a few things. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
Got some good stuff, but prices are extortionate. Yeah. I, can't, I can't stand old men. I'll go to the car. <laughs> I don't blame you. What's going on guys, my name is James Collects and if you are finding me for the first time, I am both a nerdy collector and an eBay reseller. This video is a, well this part of the video is a roundup as to everything that I bought on this particular Saturday car boot. It was the first Saturday car boot of the season and for the first half an hour I would bought one item and one item alone and that was Buzz Sports Quiz on the PS2. Completely new and sealed, bought it for my own personal collection. Yeah, this is all I had for well over half an hour. And then we started getting somewhere. The cars were starting to come in and it was starting to pick up a bit. There was, there's a Nintendo Switch for sale, which uh, Jason ended up picking up uh, for an undisclosed amount. So I should really be on commission for that because I reckon he's gonna make at least 50 to 60, maybe even 70 quid on that. So yeah, I uh, I thought I'd let him pick it up because uh, I'll be honest I just didn't want to and I wanted to have my hands free for other things so yeah he picked up a Nintendo Switch meanwhile I got this Cluedo five no this was 10 pounds I think yeah 10 pounds brand new and sealed best of British brand new and sealed again another tenner Bop It Extreme 2 two pounds and some CEX trading fodder. Admittedly, I didn't check the prices before I bought them. I just sort of put the bundle together and then that was it. So we have Frozen on Blu-ray with Frozen 2 coming out later on this year. I'm expecting the prices to spike. And we also have Guardians of the Galaxy Blu-ray, pound each. This I might have got on camera. I'm not too sure. This is a Mickey Mouse mug. I paid two pounds. The retail price is not particularly great. However, these sorts of things will only run for a limited time. So it's really, really cute. I quite like it. If the missus wants it, then we'll keep it. But yeah, that's actually really, really nice. And obviously never been used as the sticker is still inside. So that was two pounds. Next items, oh, we have magic and Pokemon. So the magic cards cost me 30 quid. They are actually going to a friend of a friend who said that if I ever see magic cards, just to pick them up if they're at a decent price. One of the guys, well, the guy who I bought them off is another fellow car booter. He goes to, to buy, to sell and everything else. So I told him the situation, I said, look, I've got a friend of a friend who is not eBay, who plays competitively and he wants decent cards for a decent price. What would you do? So he pulled out three different bits and said, right, this is good, this is good, this is good. Had a whole box of like, hundreds of cards I said this is no this is what you don't want so this is what I got for the 30 quid we have call the spirits and we also have swell the host these retail at 15 no retail at 30 pounds a piece so fingers crossed you'll have these and um you'll give me a it buy me also this tiny little deck uh, uh, magic means nothing to me uh but the guy who I bought these off said these are absolutely brand spanking new so uh yeah hopefully he's happy with that Pokemon cards for myself, pay £10. Uh, we'll go through these at the end of the video. So if you want to see what cards are, these are all like old Wizards of the Coast cards as well. So I think he paid £3 for the box and I gave him a tenner. We had a quick look at the hollows. They were mainly pretty beaten up. So yeah, I think we're both happy. I'm happy to pay a tenner. He's happy to make £7 for little to no work. So that's not bad. Apparently, I am going to start collecting PSP games. So we have Rocky Balboa and we have Call of Duty Road to Victory. Paid a pound for the pair. And the last lot of items are mainly, well, they are all for myself. These are actually from, a, again, another car booter who, my mind has gone blank, but I want to say her name is Mel. I'm fairly sure she watches anyway. So Mel, if you're watching, thank you. You're an absolute star. So I paid 15 quid for the lot. We have Star Wars Episode 1 Racer. Now, the reason why I've picked this up is because I have the box and manual. So that is now going in my collection as complete. Lego Bionicle for the Game Boy Advance. Again, I have the box and manual, but missing the game. So this is now going to be complete and going in my personal collection. Medal of Honor Underground for the Game Boy Advance. Complete inside, goes straight in the collection. Judge Dread on the PS1. 
fantastic condition there's a, a slight crease on the manual again part of the deal and it's a game that i don't have so that is going straight in the collection dragon ball z budokai 2 and 3 on the ps2 i'm fairly sure i definitely have the cases i may be missing the games um as a part of my personal collection so i'll have to go through and double check but then again these are in quite good condition so the chances are these will be staying with me either way I may be getting rid of the stuff that I already have in my collection. So again, part of the same bundle. And the last item of this bundle is some Cyclone Disc Expansion Packs. I'll be honest, I don't recall this as a child whatsoever. There's a slight nick in the bottom there, so it's not completely sealed. But yeah, that's really cool. And I'll be keeping this as a part of my sealed Pokemon collectible stuff collection thing so yeah that's actually really happy with that because i've never seen that before and um it's from 1999 so it's from the old the og time period of the poker and that is it that is a whole of this car boot done as i say once i've finished talking i will go through the pokemon cards and you guys can see what was in there for the 10 pound that i paid for memory there is two starters i think um, but I'll have to go through it all and just double check. Uh, there is a giveaway running. As far as I'm aware, it's still DC. Oh, and um, there will be a clip or the name somewhere of who won the Marvel one. That'll be going like along here, or maybe I'll just fade in and out. There you go, magic. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Um, as always, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you lovely lot in the next video. Uh, good gaming and happy collecting. Uh, let's look at the Pokemon stuff. The winner of last month's giveaway is Jane Barrett. Jane, you've got one month to inbox me on YouTube so that I can get that box sent out to you. Thanks to everyone who entered, and don't forget to enter this month's. Right then, so let's have a look in the £10 bundle and see what I got for my money. I know the hollows are at the front, so we'll start from the back. So we've got base set two, rockets... Looking for anything out of the ordinary. Which, to be fair, I'd be quite surprised if there is. Some Neos. Uh, they're all upside down would help, actually, if we went the right way up. So, no, that's an uncommon. Anything? Uh, no. No. Neos, Neos. Okay, this is actually quite a decent... Well, that's a rare. Quite a decent bulking out of... Um, of the Wizards of the Coast stuff. Energies, energies, energies. And then some more Mons. Anything notable there? No, not really. More bits for me to sort through, eh? And then let's turn these the right way up to there anything at all no I'm looking for shadowless to be honest I'm, I'm hopeful base set 2 no I mean, it, there could be some jungle first editions in there I suppose but there's, it's highly unlikely see when they're upside down I, I sometimes think they're shadowless but they're not if they're shadowless, you're talking a minimum, really. If they're in like, half decent condition like these, it's really worth a minimum of a couple of quid each. Glygard, no. No. I've not seen any of these cards in age. Oh, that's a rare. That's cool. It's fossil. It's worth a couple of quid. But as I was speaking to one of the guys earlier, um, pretty much all Wizards of the Coast stuff that I get hold of now I'm I'm just storing it. It's as simple as that. That's another rare. Because that's another rare. Bloody hell, that's four. It's only going to go up in value, in my personal opinion. I mean if you look, if you go back three or four years, Charizard cards were only worth like maybe 30, 35, maybe 40 quid at an absolute push. They've now it's almost double. And that's in just two or three years. And uh, if this Detective Pikachu 
film does well and it starts a whole cinematic universe i would expect the uh, the crisis to increase even further all right so let's just get rid of the hollows off camera so you guys can't see that but see now i know what hollows are to come and you guys don't anything is that no no oh, that's a promo okay that's cool we'll, we'll stick that to one side as well is that no no let's just check that water because that might be a w stamp no it's not okay well nothing oh that's a last that's a rare okay then our hollows we have a vaporium these are all like quite beaten up as well machamp first edition which is always always in a bundle zapdos um uh, worth a few quid if it was uh if it was flat i mean it's fairly scratched up as well another vaporeon venusaur that has uh been well loved blastoise again been well loved the two money makers if they were in better condition would have been the blastoise and the uh and the venusaur definitely in see back in the day well i say back in the day about three or four years ago this was only maybe eight pounds if it was in good condition and it's now up to like 15 to 20 and uh, same with that to be honest venusaur is always the uh the lowest valued out of the three so that's not bad so our 10 pound got us one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven hollows and one two three four five six rares so that's not bad so yeah cool uh I'll say goodbye again. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you lovely lot in the next video. Good gaming and happy collecting. Peace.